హాయ్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ట్వింటాస్టిక్ లైఫ్ విత్ మీ ప్రెగ్న నా వెనకాల కనిపిస్తున్న యానిమల్స్ని అల్పాక అని అంటారు ఇప్పుడు మనము క్రూజ్డేల్ అల్పాక ఫామ్కి వచ్చాము అల్పాకాని మెయిన్గా వాటి ఫైబర్ కోసం పెంచుతారు దాని యొక్క లైఫ్ స్పాన్ వచ్చి పదహారు నుంచి పద్దెనిమిది సంవత్సరాల వరకు ఉంటుంది అవి హెర్బీవోరస్ యానిమల్స్ అంటే గెడ్డి లేదా ఎండు గెడ్డి లేదా గ్రెయిన్స్ని తింటాయి మరిన్ని విషయాలు మనము ఈ ఫామ్ ఓనర్ని అడిగి తెలుసుకుంటాము లెట్స్ గెట్ ఇన్ టు ద వీడియో I give them all Spanish names to um, okay. Okay. honor their South American heritage. Uh, How cute. Do they bite? No, they don't bite. Okay. They don't have teeth on the top oh, until okay. you get back to the molars. How old is she? She's uh, about four months. Oh, cute. Would you like to pet her? Come, come, come. I had four babies this year, three, girl, or three boys and one girl, um, but I haven't had babies in about three years. Oh, okay. So I'm really enjoying these guys. Okay. What's their lifespan? Like, how long they live? Uh, they say 17 or 18 years. Okay. My oldest is, is 19. 19. She's definitely a senior. You can see it in the way she moves. Okay. She's, she's black and she's got gray on her face. Okay. These are just learning to... I to die. walk on a, lo- a lead and, and stuff like that. So they're, they're in school. <laughs> <laughs> they eat only grass? No, they, um, they eat hay, which is a dried grass. Mm-hmm. Um, regular grass. And then they eat a, pe- a mixture of pellets and grains. Mm-hmm. And each one gets half a cup twice a day of the, of the feed. Okay. Um, just to make sure that they're getting the nutrition that they need. Yeah. The balanced vitamins and stuff. We never saw this before. Yeah, well, this is our first time seeing alpaca. Oh, well, I'm glad you guys decided to come out. Yeah. yeah. We were like looking for the good places in the area. Uh, okay. We're from like an hour drive from here. Okay. Uh, and uh, like obviously your place has very good ratings. And, uh, oh, well, thank you. Uh, <laughs> like it's in the online. That's how we end up coming here. Good. How does the color depends on the like some of them are like brown brown some of them are white and some of them are gray In the US there's 16 recognized colors of alpaca Mhm um alpaca color genetics though are kind of weird because there's the gene that expresses the exp- that is the color then there's another gene that turns color on and off oh. So use I breed for black I breed to improve the fiber on black animals because as they evolved they were warmer in the sun so they have fewer follicles per of skin and coarser fiber to let the heat out yeah so i'm working on improving that so but this little guy here yeah the black and his, brown no the the, the, the light, white, light the green light. one okay. right mm-hmm. his, this the first one out on the other side of the gate yeah the coffee colored one that's his mother oh really and his father is the same color Uh huh but so he was very much a surprise and I think it it was that gene that, that turns the color on and off that came Next. into play. Okay, yeah. But this guy here that looks two tone. Uh-huh. That's actually because now the babies were all born in May and June. In July I had my shearer stop by and just shear off their baby fur mm-hmm. so that next spring it'll be much nicer yeah. and more usable. But they don't take their heads and their legs down right to the skin like they do their backs. Mm-hmm. So what you're seeing is fiber that was exposed to the amniotic fluid before he was born. Oh. And that causes it to bleach. Oh, so okay. So when he's done next spring, mm-hmm. he'll be all black. Oh, you know, okay. Uh-huh. How old is the one sitting there? She is 10, I think. Mm-hmm. That's his that's the little two-tone one's mother. Oh. Okay. 
And the little one that you petted, the, the brown one, mm. in the back, all the way in the back, that's her mother. She looks just like her mama. Yeah. <laughs> this one here, he'll be five months on the 9th. Uh, yeah, May, June, July, August, September, October, yeah. Uh, five months on the night. So you, you remember like uh, everything about each one of them? Can you recognize each? Like, oh, I know each one of them, yes. <laughs> they all have, well, to me, they look very different. Yeah. yeah like th this black one here and the, and the other little, the other black one, they're different sizes. They have different faces. And with, you're with them all the time. You see it right away. Yeah. You know. How tall they does grow? Well, everybody here except the babies is full grown. Oh. Uh, the one that's laying down, her back is probably here. Uh -huh. The other one, the smaller one, her back is like, like here. I mean, they're just, just like people. Some people are taller, some people yeah, are shorter. Yeah. Some people have thick hair, some people have thinner hair. So there's just all those genetic differences. Mm -hmm. And you just, you, you breed to improve. Okay. <laughs> He's got the hay on his face. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> the boys are gonna wrestle. <laughs> I keep my boys separate. My boys live over there. We don't have co-ed dorms okay. here. Uh, <laughs> um, everything's planned. It takes 11 and a half months mm -hmm. for her to have her baby. So. Right when these babies were being born, mm -hmm. I was making plans for next year. Uh, okay. So that you will not be overwhelmed with everything, right? Right. right. Yeah. They're not, I don't lock them in at night, you know. You don't lock them in the night? Nope, they can come and go. They love to sleep outside this time of year when it's getting oh, cool at night. Oh. oh, they love it. Oh, okay. Babies, do they drink milk from the mom? They or? still do. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. They, uh, they're getting very close to when I'll take them away from their moms. Okay. Because they, the moms are giving everything they have right now, so they're starting to lose weight and stuff because the babies are eating so much. So, okay. um, still nursing. Okay. Uh. He's probably he's probably big enough. I try to go by weight. You know, um, he's probably almost big enough to to move off. Mm -hmm. But so you'll do the transfusion like around the same time like from milk to or do they eat gra like the hay? he's already eating feed yeah they they start eating hay like right away and grass um but he's already eating grain the others haven't quite figured it out yet um so it's like pretty much as soon as they do i'll check their weights so i want them to be around at least 50 pounds before i take them away okay. what i raise them for is their fiber mm -hmm. Um, in Peru, they do eat them, but we don't, here in this country, we don't raise them as a meat animal and they don't, even in Peru, while they eat them, it's not like beef here. Okay. It's occasional. Okay. These guys really, it's their fiber. Do they belong to camel family or? They do. They do, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good observation, yes. Yeah. In this country, llamas and alpacas, um, the occasional camel. Mm -hmm. uh, in South America, there's the Guanaco and the Vicuña, mm -hmm. also related to these guys. And then the old world camelids, of course, are your dromedaries and your Bactrians. Mm -hmm. have a three-chambered stomach. They chew their cud. Yeah, I can see that. Yep. Some of them are like popped mm -hmm. out. Yeah. They, um, they do spit, but you no, know, like llamas and camels mm -hmm. are much more territorial. Mm -hmm. and, and they're bigger so as you approach them you're eye level with them mm -hmm. and if they want to tell you to stay away that's how they're going to do it these guys are not territorial most of the time when they spit it's at each other over the kind of things children fight about in the back seat <laughs> you're crowding me yeah. you're trying to take something um that kind of thing so but they're not they don't turn around and aim at who annoyed them mm. so if if She's standing here facing that way and another alpaca runs up and, and slams into her. She'll pick her head and spit straight out. She won't turn around and spit at the one that ran into okay. her. So if I'm standing over there, 
I may get hit just because Somebody she coming. didn't aim. She was just irritated. So, okay. <laughs> but it does. It, it happens rarely. So, I like this one. Like this is yeah. so. Cute. <laughs> he's very popular. Everybody loves him. I think because yeah. he's so different. Yeah. Yeah, so different, and then I don't know for some reason. <laughs> Well, he looks like he's smiling. He always looks like he's smiling. <laughs> yeah, he's right? more friendly one in this hunt. Uh, say the the mother alpaca is standing by the gate. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And of the babies, I would say the one that I brought over for you guys. Uh, she seems to be the most mellow. Okay. Because she's she's done some demonstrations today, so she's kind of like uh, again. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what they're. I mean, they're learning. So you do a low just only on weekends? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I work full time so weekend is when I can, can easily have the fun with them. And we just started doing that in uh, the weekend after Labor Day. Yeah. Uh, the because of the restrictions I guess. Well I mean I'd, really it's kind of funny because after the holiday, after the New Year's holiday mm -hmm. until Labor Day I'm pretty much appointment only anyway. Oh, okay. um, just because there's just not that volume of people mm -hmm. so it's just easier for me to manage my life if, yeah, if I yeah. ask people to make appointments um, but then starting in the fall people people are looking for something to do they're looking for you know that jacket mm -hmm. or warm socks or something so then I get more more people I've been pretty busy today actually how do you transport them? do you transport them in a big? in a mini van really? yeah wow <laughs> you, um, I'll spray their bellies and their chest with water what, so that they'll get and some... they love it. Oh. They love when I get the hose out. Uh -huh. <laughs> so. so it's like a playtime for them. Yeah. Oh no, it's not time to do that. So this is the tallest one of all? The, uh, in the elder ones? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Her baby is the youngest. Yeah. But he's almost the same size as the oldest one. Yeah. How do you uh, clean them up? You don't brush them, you don't groom them, you don't do anything like that with them. They, uh -huh. um, because it, it will disturb their fiber. Okay. Do you sell the fibers to the third party? Um, I do a couple of things. I, I um, can send it out and have yarn made. Mm -hmm. I can send it to a cooperative and then they'll blend everybody's fiber together and make products that I can get. Oh, okay. Um, some of it I use myself. I make like dryer balls okay. for helping your clothes dry better. Yeah. Even though there's not a big market for here, I showed my alpaca. You want to buy a bag of fiber? Mm -hmm. You gotta invest more into it, like have yarn made or something like that. Okay. Thank you. I put a cruise del alpaca store loki veli eme munai chustam padandi. Wow. Local store chala pedagane on the mari. Uh, toys, keychains, low plate, mari socks, fiber to chestnut socks, warm wear, winter wear, motta munda salki, sweaters, ani shawls, ani caps, ani pillal ki gloves, sweaters, shawls, everything calls in a winter wear calls in a vastu lanni onai. Ikka choose sunde di di mana mission fiber ella chayal chappu onai. Andha nikka kan piece thuna balls hoche dryer balls. Am chappin kada inda ka. Fiber to tane chest on the dryer balls and then a cut square ga can piece to never chase soaps and matter. Chala bond and di idi alpaca store bond and then farm good chal bond. E video gonna make natchinat like a like chain, share chain, and subscribe chain. Hope you like this video and thanks for watching. Bye bye.